mean, it was a very incredible experience for me. I mean, it's two years ago since I sort of directed this story and and I've lived and breathed Chernobyl for a very long time. I've read almost every book and I've seen all the research material and looked at all the pictures and followed up on all these characters. And for me now to actually be where it really happened, I was in, in Lyudmila Ignatenko's apartment, I was in the Atlov's apartment. I saw a lot of these things that we have recreated, the hotel, the policia in Pripyat, um, and so on and so forth. It was, it was tremendous. And it was beautiful. Um, I obviously wish I was there sooner. I think I would have had even stronger reactions if I would have been there a couple of years ago. But I'm so tremendously happy and glad that I could get here today. Uh, so it's it's a memory for life for me, and I will never ever forget this. Uh, we also happen to have the best guy you could ever imagine for something like this. A very skilled, knowledgeable, and articulate uh, person who uh, actually knew a hell of a lot more than I about a lot of the things that we encountered and a lot of, I could actually ask her questions um, on things that I was unsure of and yet brilliant answers on. And then naturally we, we visited the actual power plant, uh, which was also quite daunting and uh, really humbling to be in the shadow of this massive uh, confinement structure and unknowing what's, what's going on under that and what has happened there. 30 years ago, so um, it's been an incredible day.